what is up everyone it's Adrian here back again we have another video in this dope little vintage studio but I am going it's quickly tight in here as you'll probably see but even though there's this big window uh, as you probably heard me say before my channel shooting in London indoors is not very great like so I'm gonna use the young Uo young Uo 35 f2 um, so I'm gonna try that out obviously I have the big boy 2470 135 but again 135 in here is gonna be very tight as you can probably tell be very very tight but I might use this this guy say hello sky <laughs> um, yeah we're gonna use that might use um, flash flash might get involved and obviously I might get some BTS with the insta360 you can see it so obviously I need a new vlogging camera this is a joke but yeah insta360 is there and see how um, this bad boy performs as this is a budget lens I want to see how it performs on the R6 very very affordable lens so we're gonna see it is very it is very plasticky it does feel cheap it focuses <laughs> like it uh, sounds like Robocop when it focuses but um, I want to see how it performs on the R6 and we can compare the the comparison to even maybe the 24 to 70 here at 35 but as it's f2 obviously it gives me more light in this quite dark it's, it doesn't look dark on here but on camera it is I mean in real life it is pretty dark oh yeah Cheyenne's here too Hi. and um, it's a bit of a mess. this is outfits guys not bringing one or two Rubbish shirts. You need suitcases. Suitcases like you're going on holiday for two weeks. It literally for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another big bag of stuff. Now from first look, probably if you saw these photos separately you wouldn't notice any difference but the clarity in the 24-70 is much greater and yes obviously there are two different f-stops, the lowest one on the 24-70 is f2.8 and the on the Young Nuo is f2 but even if even if they were both at the same aperture the 24-70 is a much uh, clearer lens as it obviously it is L glass and it does cost way more than the Young Nuo. Why I kept them at their lowest apertures is for artistic preference so you can see exactly what you'd be getting. Okay, now you can have an opinion. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going upstairs. Oh boy. Jeez, Louise. Alright, got some proper, oh, I think proper I vintage records. vibes. Oh, wow. That's fun. It's a good thing I brought my flash boy because it's dark up here. I think this green sofa. Yeah, I do. With the blue background. Do you think? Or too much pattern? Or the no, dark wood? Cool. What about the dark wood with the blue? Yeah, this. Yeah. This is nice. I'll see what natural light looks like, but... Do you know what could be cool? This is like a photo frame, right? Oh, so you could yeah. hold it and we'll have both of our bums in it. Oh, that could be that's cool. a idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. We could take that downstairs, I guess. Yeah. If there's not enough light up here. We could, okay. we could have the wooden wall as like the background, right? Which yeah. someone else to hold it. Oh, we've got props. 
shoes. <laughs> The treasure chest. Oh, hello. Oh, have we got outfits? The bloody outfit. What the bloody outfit? <laughs> is it buttless? Is it? No. Oh it's my not. god, they're trousers. <gasps> <laughs> they're actually sick. I want to wear them with my iconic J hot top. I've always wanted those like buttless ones. Them cowboy oh ones. Oh god, there's actually full on outfits in here. Oh, what is that? I don't know yeah. what's been on this. Sure. <laughs> a dog probably. It looks like a dog's bed. <laughs> We've got some furry. You want a chain? I have no idea what, what, what this has been used for. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about this now, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to catch hepatitis A, no. and C. <laughs> <laughs> None no. of us have had our jobs. What is that? Oh, there's a plant under This is plant. what you do when you shoot us, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Don't Jesus look. Christ, we're back here again. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> When you do stop down the 35mm, the Young Nuo, it is ridiculously sharp and it is good, but obviously you don't buy a low aperture lens to use it in higher f-stops. But the second image I really really love just because you get that artistic feel and again both of these lenses and why I'm doing this video is for artistic preference. Um, this is how I like to shoot, this is how I like to use it, so hopefully this does help you. But also. I love the way that this picture come out um, it's focusing just on like one of the hairs at the top of her head and it kind of blurs out the background the foreground and background and that's just not something you're gonna get with a, a zoom lens with a with an aperture of 2.8 and upwards you're just not gonna get that feel you're not gonna get that vibe you're just not gonna get that feeling to the to the photo it gives it like a nice vintage feel with the hair sway as well I just completely love this and you're really only gonna get that with a nice shallow uh, depth of field from a prime between these two photos you'll notice it more in the next set of photos and video but comment below if you see it now so have you noticed it yet I think this set of photos you can notice it way more but the next video you can notice the complete difference between these two lenses in the video and now you can see it very very well the 24 to 70 has much smoother transitions between the light and the dark 
um, the colouring is a bit more contrast, a bit more vibrant, a bit more saturation in it. The Young Nuo has the highlights are, 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 are a lot higher in it. Um, also, the these are both handheld. <laughs> this is both handheld. I don't know what it maybe it's something to do with primes and zooms, but handheld my zoom is so smooth. So so smooth. Obviously, you can look at the unstabilized footage of the, the 35. It is shaky as hell. Um, yes, I don't know if someone in the comments would know uh, why that is. Maybe give it education. But yeah, these are exact same settings, exact same scenario. This second clip, you'll notice there's a vignetting with the 35, um, which makes it look a bit dark in this scenario. But I think the lighting went, because it's natural light window behind, I think it was a bit darker in the bottom one. Hence why the top one is a bit lighter. But again, you can notice the uh, the difference in the shakiness. Now I could have brought down the 2470 to, to match the colors of the 35, the exposure of the 35, but I wanted to use the exact same settings in all scenarios. Another perfect example, you can see how the highlights in the Young Nuo at the bottom is much greater than the 2470 above. Again, the colors are look, still look exactly the same. It's just that one that could be a bit more co contrasty. I feel like the Young Neo does a lot better when the lighting is a, is a bit darker, the exposure is a bit down. I feel like the colors match the Canon. I think just as good, just that the highlights are a lot higher. I mean, again, this is just artistic preference, which one you'd actually prefer. I just prefer a bit better with the the softness of the light in the in the L glass but you let me know in the comments which one you prefer but in conclusion as I said it's all your artistic preference this is a great thing about being a creator and being a creative making your own art it's all subjective and you can choose exactly what you want in my personal opinion I believe having both in your arsenal is the best thing you can do having 2470 to get the wider shots to add into a carousel post on Instagram I think it'll be perfect fit with the Yong Nuo 35mm. Those nice shallow shots with the F2. Let me know in the comments how well do you think this performed? Will you be getting it? Um, if you don't have the budget for a big 35mm uh, RF, even the EF um, version 2, version 1, they are pretty pricey. This cost me 70, uh, 70 pounds, about 80, 90 dollars. Um, so very very inexpensive so how well do you think it performed and uh, yeah let me know in the comments but don't forget to leave a like it really helps me out drop a comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one end of the vlog hope you enjoyed it the girls follow the girls but you, you're not in you're not in focus wait there you go follow the girls um, send a pic and um, yeah, <laughs> catch you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>